Jan, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Really? When did we speak last? Like, was it a month ago? Something like that, yeah. Two months ago? It was about two months ago, actually. A lot can happen in two months. And a lot has happened. Look, I should let people know that we're at the lounge, Live Nation, because there was some special announcements going on here. And you had a lot of fans here who were showing their love and respect for you. I mean, how did that feel, seeing these people and having the chance to talk to them? It's amazing. I recognize so many people now, Rudy. It's kind of nutty. But um, there was people here today that I, that I know, without a doubt, have been to, like... 15, 20, 25 shows. And you see them time and time again. And, you know, you, you, the, the word fan sort of conjures up these things. These are people that are so kind, respectful of my time and space, and that just have been supportive of the work that I've done over the years. So I'm, I'm really grateful. Let's Maybe they've all grown up. Maybe they were, you know, as, as nutty as I was 20 years ago, but they've grown into, like, really great, calm versions of themselves. But, yeah, always such a pleasure to see them. We've got so much to talk about in a short time, so let's get to number one. Congratulations, the induction, and it's going to be happening at the Juno Awards. Congratulations on being part of the Hall of Fame. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so really weird. Uh, and then you just start thinking about it. It's like how much time has gone by, but when I think back to being in the bars and just like drinking in self-defense, you know, you're playing... Leonard Skinner and Kiss music until two o'clock in the morning in these cover bands, and just putting in the time. Um, yeah, it does seem possible now, because I don't think I could do it again. If someone was to be setting me down on the road that I just walked for the last forty years, I don't think I'd do it again. A lot of people would say, "Yeah, I would do it all over again." I wouldn't do it all over again. It was a, an enormous amount of joy. Uh, and an enormous amount of work, but, uh, oh, I was so stupid. I just did such stupid things. I didn't look after myself, but, man, oh, man, I'm glad to come out the other side of this, and, and it's such an honor. And you know what the cool thing is, too? This year, you're good for an Aaron Davis is going to be inducted into the Broadcast Hall of uh, Fame during Canadian Music Week. Nobody deserves it more. Aaron has been a testament to the human spirit, um, to strength and grace, the loss of her daughter, her only daughter, um, suddenly. I mean, she inspired, her, her book, Morning is Broken, is, is really special if you ever get a chance yeah. to read Aaron's book. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I'm, I'm so, what, it, it makes a lot of sense to kind of be walking down this road with Aaron. She is uh, an iconic broadcaster and opened a lot of doors for women. Absolutely. A lot of doors for women. Speaking of open doors, your door is going to be wide open because you're touring too this year. Yeah. We're, uh, I mean, it makes sense. I haven't been across the country for quite a number of years, and I haven't been to Newfoundland for 18 years. So I was out there, of course, when the Junos were hosted out there in Newfoundland. Um, and uh, I've been there a couple of times in the 90s, but I haven't been there for a long time. So really looking forward to it. We're actually uh, mounting our tour out there, which is doing the rehearsals, getting the production ready. So all the gear will come out there in trucks. I would imagine it'll go over on the ferry. There's a, uh, yeah, hopefully the, no, the ocean should be all right in, in May, end of April, May. Winter time, it's a bit precarious taking that ship over there. <laughs> Well, we're looking forward to that, but we're also looking forward. That's what I mean by so much to talk about. Your uh, show is back again. Mm. Another season. How do you feel about that, the success in this part of your life, in this part of the uh, genre entertainment? And uh, what can we expect from the season? Um, I think more lunacy from the character that I play, this weird version of myself, continues to make horrible you know, decisions as far as relationships and management. And um, my mother in the show continues her walk with memory loss and how the whole family reacts and deals with that. Um, it's just very funny. It, it, it's so well written. Leah Gauthier and Jenica Harper, who head up you know, the writing team just do such a good job of, you know, they know what my sense of humor is. So it's just been so much fun. It, it's, we're doing eight episodes this year. And uh, it's much, it feels bigger. Like, we've really stayed true to the show and the family unit. But it's a much bigger feeling show, production-wise. 
I love it. And of course now a new album is going to be out. Yeah, well, it's not uh, original music. It's it's uh, hits and other gems, which is great. I'm so glad to see Universal kind of utilize this catalog. I think I've got 14 or 15 records. And um, there's some really special tracks on there. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been coughing all day. Um, uh, Scott Hellman and I did something that he included as part of his hotel tracks. He, he did uh, hotel room sessions. And, I remember uh, that. Yeah, yeah. so we're, we're, we, I'm putting that on because Scott is, is so wonderful. Uh, we did the Cure's uh, love song. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a version of Insensitive that was just haunting from the One Night Only special that I did before Christmas on CTV. So that's going to be on there. Um, and just some stuff uh, from the Jan show, Mother Mine, that I wrote and performed with Zoe Palmer, who plays my sister, is going to be on there. So it's it's just a great compilation. I've had like uh, 19, 20 top 10 singles over the last 25 years. So they're kind of concentrating on that part of the catalog. Oh, I cannot wait for this. When is this going to be out? Do we know? I think it's May as well. Uh, guys, when does the uh, Hits and Other Gems come out? May 1st. May 1st. May 1st. Looking forward to that. You know, one I of know the th- all the facts. You want facts? <laughs> I got them. <laughs> You know, we, we've talked in the past about social media and how you've been handling things and whatever. But how do you feel when you see other things, crazy things going on? One of the things I wanted to ask you about, your thoughts on the, you want to call it controversy, <laughs> on the Super Bowl performance with Jennifer Lopez and Shakira. Was the, it their age, ageism? Was it talking about she's 50 and, Sh- and Shakira's 43? Wh- which part of it? Well, but some people are saying it was too, quote unquote, sexy. Oh, gosh. I hadn't heard that. Is there such a thing as too sexy? I believe that uh, young Adam last year had a nipple come out. (laughs) Or that he had a third nipple that somebody spotted that he heard. It was some wacky stuff like that. Listen, sexuality, uh, what's deemed a sexy performance. I don't know if you've been watching pop music the last 50 years, but there was a guy named Elvis that was actually filmed from the waist up because they felt his pelvis was exciting the masses, which it probably was. But, you know, imagine what he would have thought of that back then. He was dancing. Jennifer Lopez is probably one of the best dancers in the world. Her and Shakira, my God, talk about girl power. Mm -hmm. I, I think they did us all proud. I think they are between the two of them, are actually going to see people using their gym memberships. I think people watch that and went, holy crap, I am going to go and work out. I'm going to run. I'm going to lift weights. I'm going to defy gravity as these women have. No, I, if that was the thing, I don't know who's saying that. It's, maybe it's people that need to, to uh, get up off the couch, me included, and... Um, you know, rethink that. What? What? what everyone's different, Rudy. You can You're never going to win. It doesn't matter what you do. What if they'd come out there in like black outfits and not danced, and uh, they, they could? You can't win. No. But you can because as long as you believe in yourself and get out there and do your yeah. thing, you can. And that's what you have done all these years. Well, I have had a enormous amount of support from the people working with me. And I've worked with them, a lot of these people for so many years. Um, I, I think it defies my own expectations, certainly, to, to you know, being inducted and to, to still be working 25 plus years later. But I think more than anything, I, I, I know that it's about persistence. Talent is subjective in any form of art. One person might really love a painting, and the next ten people in might go, that's the worst painting I've ever seen. Music is no different. Uh, there's, there's people that are going to like what you do, and there's people that are going to dislike what you do, and they're going to be very verbal about it. And you hit it on the nose, Rudy, and that's believe in yourself, like what you do, find your passion, run, 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 run with it, don't stop. And, and there's that whole adage, you know, sometimes if they're telling you, no, that'll never do, that won't work here, you're on the right track. If they're telling you no, you're on the right track. I still believe that. I believe that, too. I want to say thank you again for the interview. Thank you for all the interviews over the years, and congratulations. As they like to chant in the audience, you deserve it. Thank you. I'm sure we'll be talking again within the next two or three months. I'll guarantee it.
Yeah. Well, actually, in about uh, six weeks, if you think about it, at the Juno Awards. I'll see you at Juno's, Rudy. There you go. <laughs> so now looking for some questions from anyone else in the audience. Yeah. Hi, Jen. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hi, Rudy. Um, since you've hosted the Junos twice, Alessia Cara is hosting this year. Um, she's the number one uh, nominee. What advice can you give her since you've done it before? Oh, God. Well, I think she's going to do great. She's probably got some really great writers around her. Be yourself. All she has to do is walk out there and be herself. I mean, she's already so beloved by her fans and friends and family. I think, I think she's going to just knock it out of the park. You know, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll have no worries with Alessia. She's, she's such an amazing talent. Cool. Is that good? That's good. And don't be nude. <laughs> don't don't do it nude. <laughs> yeah, just I, I would go with an outfit. <laughs> and that's always good advice. 